still just mining stuff out here. I think we're gonna move Kelderon inside. Station him there instead. Put one little stockpile for wood right here so they'll bring hopefully that piece that's outside back in. Otherwise I'll seal it out. And then we're gonna seal this final door. I figured they would do that. Well, let's seal this off for the fortification. I'm pretty sure everybody's inside. Oops. I don't want to make that out of wood. Make it out of andestite as well. And then once we get that sealed out, I'm going to start diagramming a whole bunch more pathways and rooms and also got to dig down to the to the plants to the soil so we can um, start our farming operation. We're going to have to dig a long ways for that it looks like. That could be a problem. Well, it's 10th granite 129. And we're still just mining, nothing else going on. So let's meet some of our dwarves while we're at it. I think that's what I said we were going to do. Here's Calrog man, our miner. Calrog man, Colatol, has been ecstatic lately. She's been satisfied with work lately. Don't mind the gender, you are what you are. She is a dubious worshipper of Vakist Sister Glimmers, the Lacy Meditations. Probably a sexy little seductress. She is a citizen of the Waning Construction and a member of the Stoked Fields. Calrog man likes mica, bismuth, bronze, goshenite, horn, giant cave spider silk, and plenty of other stuff. Laser pistols are one of the more notable ones. Also prefers to consume moon sugar. Always tense and jittery, often feels discouraged, self-conscious, and doesn't often experience strong cravings or urges. However, she's very friendly, assertive, relaxed, and doesn't need thrills or risks in life. Uh, they can also be very happy and op optimistic. They prefer familiar routines and are open-minded to new ideas. When she's slow to trust others, she is guarded in relationships with others. A whole bunch of other stuff. Let's see, I want to see your deity here. Vakis Sister Glimmers, the Lacy Meditations, is a deity of the waning construct. Vakis most often takes the form of a male vault dweller and is associated with inspiration, art, and beauty. And the catfish is your friend. Everyone else is just a long-term acquaintance. And let's meet the catfish as well. A little bit of their likes and history. Been happy lately and talked to a friend lately. A worshipper of Oozel. And a citizen of all the same stuff. Catfish likes loam, tin, sapphire, amber, and the color beige. Don't forget the chainsaws and Brahmins for their haunting moos. When possible, they prefer to consume heroids. They have a calm demeanor, but they often feel discouraged. They are concerned about rejection, rejection and ridicule, and they don't handle stress very well. She is assertive, relaxed, doesn't need thrills or risks in life, and has a fertile imagination. Well, I want to see your god now. Who is Uzul? Well, you're friends with a lot of people. You've been standing around too much, haven't you? Uzul is a deity of the waning constructs, most often takes the form of a female vault dweller and is associated with the earth. What about you, Slaxer? Ecstatic and talked with a lover lately, so you've got a new romance going on, Slaxer. We'll have to see who that's with. He is a citizen of the waning constructs and all that, and he's romantically involved with Hippo Man. So, good job, Slaxer. You and Hippo Man already hit it off. That was pretty quick. Slaxer likes claystone, platinum, red gossular, rubber tree, and the color aqua. Also, dogs for their loyalty. When possible, he prefers to consume jet. You're, so you're an addict. Congratulations there as well. He is slow to anger. He often feels discouraged. He is self-conscious, doesn't handle stress well, and tends to avoid crowds. Also assertive and very active and has a fertile imagination. And you can pause it and read through the rest of those as you want. Let's check your god, actually, real quick. You are still... You're with Oozle. How about you, Gargles? Let's see a little bit of your history. Gargles has been ecstatic and talked with a friend, a worshipper of Zagad the Adventurous Steam, a citizen of the same things. Gargles likes slate, sterling silver, topaz, amber, the color lemons, 
some other stuff. Cats for their aloofness and spice mushrooms for their green tubes. When possible, he prefers to consume large rat and medicine powder. He is slow to anger, doesn't handle stress well, and is unassertive. He is relaxed, doesn't need thrills, is rarely happy or enthusiastic, but has a fertile imagination. He's basically the type of guy you'd like to just, you know, have sit around on your couch with and talk all day. And let's see your god, Zagad. Zagad the adventurous steam as a deity and the waning construct. Zagad most often takes the form of a male vault dweller and is associated with chaos and war. So you also harbor a dark side underneath that calm demeanor, huh, Gargles? To put you on lockdown, keep you in chains if anything goes bad. Let's meet you, Hippo Man. What about you? Hippo Man has been ecstatic and talked with a friend lately. She became caught up in a new romance recently. She is involved with Slaxor, Labor Ponder, and she is a worshipper of Zen God. She is the leader of the Stoked Field, so Hippo Man is the current leader of the expedition and a citizen of the Waning Construct. She is manager of the Stoked Fields and the bookkeeper and uh, the broker. We'll change all those. I forgot about switching those. You're not going to keep all of the working positions. We'll have to spread those out. Hippo Man likes Pericles, Platinum, Blue Garnet, Large Rat Leather, and Coral. When possible, she prefers to consume Plump Helmet Mushrooms and Jet and absolutely detests purring maggots. Uh, Hippo Man is quick to anger, often feels discouraged, but is comfortable in social situations and doesn't often experience strong cravings or urges. She is relaxed, not a risk taker, and is rarely happy or enthusiastic. Hippo Man tends not to openly express emotions, but prefers familiar routines. You Hippo Man, uh... And that's all we'll do for Hippo Man. Let's meet your god as well, Zen God. Zen God is deity of the waning construct and most often takes the form of a male vault dweller associated with forgiveness and mercy. We got two more here. Juju Dog will meet you. Juju has been happy and talked with a friend and a worshipper of Ertl, a new god as well. Juju Dog, Kolkovest, like Silt Loom, Electrum, Paradise Amber, the color Dark Olive. 10 millimeter ammo, amulets, coins, and dogs for their loyalty. When possible, he prefers to consume jet. He is quick to anger, self-conscious, doesn't often experience strong cravings or urges, and doesn't handle stress well. He is very friendly, very relaxed, and is not a risk taker. Let's meet your god, Ertl, here. Ertl is a deity of the waning construct, and most often takes the form of a male vault dweller and is associated with wealth. What about you, Kelderon? Kelderon has been quite content lacy, lately, a worshipper of Akist Sister Gleamers, the Lacy Meditations, and a citizen of all the same. Kelderon likes Loomy Sand, Electrum Red Spinal, the color of chartreuse, and beds. When possible, she prefers to consume Fire Ant. So what is that? We have like two guys and uh, five women here. She is slow to anger, self-conscious, doesn't often experience strong cravings or urges, and is unassertive. Also very active and has a fertile imagi imagination. She is resistant to change, admires tradition, and is slow to trust others. Oh, that's the crew. Unfortunately, I don't think we can see what our, uh, our friends outside have. I don't think they have any emotions or relations. Got some giant red ants wandering onto the map over here, I guess. Are they fighting anything? Looks like they just might be moving through. But we're all officially sealed in here. Now that we've met the crew, I'm going to set up some digging stuff here. Uh, I'll come back in a little bit whenever anything happens. Otherwise, everybody's just standing around. Got nothing to do except eat and drink. We're going to have to change that pretty dang soon. Okay, I'll show you guys the farming location I think I found. Uh, just straight down from the main stairs, we go down one, two, three floors. And we'll take this long tunnel over here. Take one stairwell down, and it'll get a little bit bigger until we're underneath the soil here. We should be able to build um, build our farms over here. It's a little bit further away from the main base than I wanted. But it'll do for now. It's the closest soil I think I could find. Let them get back to digging that out. I still haven't planned out where the bed, the bedrooms are going to go, or the uh, the dining room. We'll get that figured out. Build those.
these workshops over here. I'm actually gonna turn this room into a bunch of workshops. Put the ma put two mason shops in here. And put a carpenter shop here. And what else do we need? Let's get a mechanic shop as well. I'm gonna need to start making some switches and levers. Get those people off our food. They're doing a setting over there partying. <laughs> 